Thanks for joining me. Hey, got this the other day. The Kaiser Mini Doman. Not the full size, the Mini. I don't know about you, but Kaiser makes some interesting knives in their Vanguard series. And here's the box. N690 now. So they were making the Dom in the first one in VG10. But this one? Is this Red G10? Man, this is the most violet looking red. I have said violet, like purple type violet looking red I've ever seen. In any case, whatever. Um, yes, I thought this was going to be purple, purple, but it's definitely not purple, like blue and purple. So it is a different color than that. And by the way, there's how it compares with the paramilitary two. Here's how it compares with the recon one. It's way, way smaller than the recon one, but I mean, here's the regular size Dahman. So it's way smaller than that too. Not even quite a three inch blade. Okay, this is more like 3.4 inch blade. So this is like your standard size, you know, whatever. And this one, I believe, yeah, I had, um, does it say on here? VG10, yeah, it does. But this is N690, so they've changed it up a bit. I don't know if I really if I really care. Uh, I think I've seen the formulas on both of them, and uh, maybe some uh, consumers will have a preference, but uh, uh, not me. Uh, that wouldn't really figure into my decision making about whether I wanted to buy this or not. The thing that would figure into it is the fact that it's a nice little flickable knife. Reminds, you know, these ones on washers like this are so much like the the, the Ontario knife company, the Rat 2, you know, the smaller one. Very flickable on washers, very usable, sensible blade shape, stone wash. Comes in different colors, by the way, in case you were terrified going, no, this is not what I'm doing. Or you can buy the color you like, which, like this bag lighter, is blue, which is really cool. So different, but these are all Azo designs, right? So you got that large Domin, you got the bag lighter, the mini bag lighters coming out. Now there's a difference in the blade shape, so I guess that's what's you know, the difference that's appealing to people. These are really not a blade stop. It has an internal blade stop, but it looked like it. It does look like it, doesn't it? But it's not. And there it is disassembled. So we have these bronze washers and they're sandwiched. This little nylon, almost translucent washer is sandwiched between these two bronze washers on both sides. I don't know why, but here's your your stop here internal. And of course, they have skeletonized the scales for weight reduction. And there's your just regular hardware, that kind of thing. Interesting that they've done it that way. I don't know why the three washers on each side, maybe that makes it smoother. Uh, more flickable and I really haven't played with this this much so it's getting smoother as we go you can see how easy it is to flick open steel liner lock and it's a 25% lock up I'm not getting any blade play or lock rock anything like that from this knife and obviously tip up right hand or left hand is available. The pass through is real obvious here, so it's super easy to disengage the liner lock and go forward with that. Comes in a box just like this. In any case, these boxes have changed over time. Remember the Vanguard series where the box used to have kind of a window in it and you could see the knife in the window 
and they were taller boxes and then a microfiber cloth was at the bottom here it's different this is it snaps into here it's in that fitted area and then here's all your gobbledygook right here all your paperwork that kind of thing and i'm not sure if there is oh yeah there's a microfiber cloth in here there you go right there so they put it all together in this like little ownership envelope and it goes right over the knife and then right inside the box so hey that's cool take a look at this let's do our actual measurements though but you can see it's under three inches close though 70 i don't know 75 millimeters or close to that and then overall under seven even with that little lanyard piece sticking out the back, it still doesn't hit seven. It's 17 and a half centimeters long total. And let's see how slender it is right here on these scales. How slender a carry is this? Well, 0.42. Okay, that's pretty slender. 10.8 millimeters. Blade stock, what would they say that was? Three or 2.65 is what it is here. I guess I was thinking about some other blade. Yeah, 0.104. So fairly slender blade stock. Will it be a knife? Let's find out. And so it's got that Bowler N690 blade. Stone wash. Kind of a real worker bee. This would be a super light carry. Two point eight ounces. Just eighty eighty grams. And the designer, Azo, isn't it wild? And of course, the same designer for the full size Doman, but the same designer on the bag lighter. And you know what? He's done a lot of other designs for Kaiser, kind of an unsung hero. Cause if you really look for him like on Instagram or anything, does he have his own like thing? But no, guess in-house guy never gets the love. But the, the, he's made some really good stuff and more is coming from Kaiser. It's interesting how you have a different kind of lanyard set up here than you do here. Different blade shape. Thumb studs are different. They give you like a decorative pivot, you know, surround here where they don't here. On the back, pocket clips. Eh, somewhat similar. Although, you know, this comes, comes up. It's pretty close to the scale, though. But... Here it comes up and flattens out, but it's a little more elevated. None of them are deep carry in any case. So just thought it was interesting to have all these knives together, kind of take a look. But for people who want small, you know, discreet carry, real easy, hey, you can take the pocket clip off completely, just drop it in your pocket. It's not that big. Nice. What do you think? I mean, you know, obviously they're comfortable. These are popular knives. I mean, the Doman and the Bag Light are very popular and it's comfortable in the hand. Don't get much of a uh, sharpening choil in that area right there, mm, but it is what it is, right? Probably not a piercing champ, but nice for slicing. You got good contact patch because, you know, you don't have a flipper tab down here standing it up. So, yeah, simple, useful, fairly inexpensive, right around the $50 range. I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. Appreciate you hanging out. The mini Dolman, the Dolman, the bag lighter, soon mini bag lighter we'll get back to you when we get one in hand 
All right. Take care. Thank you so much. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.